Is it a coincidence that the words millionaire and bear rhyme? What if I told you that the best time to achieve financial freedom in crypto in a relatively short period of time is actually during bear markets? Hello, I'm CryptoMate. Welcome to a two-part video on how to become a millionaire in a bear market. This is the first part video wherein we'll examine why, as long-term investors in cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology, bear markets are better for us than bull ones, whether we've been in the industry for a while or are just now entering it. We'll talk about strategies we can use to fully capitalize on the opportunities bear markets present and run some calculations using historical price data to compare the most recent bear market to the most recent bull market. Please let me know by liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and clicking the bell notification to stay up to date on all of the latest videos if you'd like to see more content where we explore opportunities, various market climates present, and strategies we can use to navigate them together. Let's find out how to become a millionaire in a bear market. Bull markets are a thrilling wild ride. Why? Because when cryptocurrencies reach all-time highs, everyone benefits, everyone gains. However, while bull markets are enjoyable, it is the bear markets that will make you rich. A key fact we all need to be mindful of is during market drops and recessions is when the biggest wealth transfers occur. Why is this the case? People become emotional and allow their emotions to drive their investment decisions and fear is one of the most powerful emotions that leads to poor investment decisions. Fear of missing out on opportunities and fear of losing our hard-earned money. So when there is a significant drop in the market, or when a recession ushers in people get scared, panic, and sell their positions. There must be a willing buyer in order for a market sell to occur. Mass sell-offs from fear-stricken people transfer wealth to brave buyers. But, when you think about it, are our buyers brave during bear markets, or are they simply pragmatic? Consider these two evident and very accurate facts, which have been proven time and again. 1. We accumulate more for less in bear markets versus less for more in bull markets. 2. Bear markets always come to an end. They are not permanent. They can be fairly monotonous, which makes it seem like an eternity to most people. However, bull markets eventually emerge from bear markets. So, the best way to avoid emotional decisions is to adopt a wealth mindset first, and then implement a proven strategy and stick to it no matter what. So first, let's talk about mindset. When markets crash and people become fearful, logic and facts are thrown out the window. As strange as it may sound, facts and logic are not part of the mindset we must adopt in order to achieve and maintain wealth. Our mindsets are created and driven by our beliefs. In reality, depending on what each of us believes, it will either help us stay where we are or move forward toward our goals of becoming who we want to be and living the life we want. To stay on topic, we will discuss five powerful beliefs that we can adapt, embrace, and use to achieve financial freedom. Belief 1. Crypto is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We must all recognize and accept that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to generate and accumulate potentially massive amounts of wealth in an unusually short period of time. This is our modern-day dot-com era, in the midst of a near-post-COVID economy. It is our opportunity to invest in the future form or mom stocks, which are Facebook, now Meta, Amazons, Apples, Netflix, and Googles, before they skyrocket. Belief 2. Fiat currency is a failed economic experiment. We have all witnessed how people closest to the money printers in the US, especially during the COVID pandemic, get the money. From there, the rest follows gradually. 
Fiat systems are one of the key reasons we have such a stark divide between the lower and middle classes and the affluent elite. Politicians in the US government don't work for us, they work for companies. So, it's important to understand that fiat systems are a failed economic system for the mass majority of humans on the planet, as it only serves a small elite group of people. Belief 3. We're still in the early stages. So many of us believe we have missed the boat or are late to the game when, in fact, we are just getting started. Many people have never heard of Bitcoin, blockchain, or cryptocurrencies. People are literally crying about being so late, despite the fact that we've only achieved Atari POM-like gaming experiences on the blockchain in comparison to the immersive virtual reality, augmented reality, and metaverses yet to come. We're still in the early stages. In terms of development, we are currently close to crawling out of primordial ooze with tails and half-baked lungs that upright conscious human beings. This technology and its applications are still in their infancy. There is still a significant amount of unrealized value that will be realized over time. Accept and embrace the fact that we are still new and that we will all make it. Belief 4 the key to financial freedom is cryptocurrency. This is most likely the most powerful belief that any of us can embrace and use to achieve financial freedom in our lives. A perfect storm of events has converged, providing everyone with the motivation and patience to achieve financial freedom in this new emerging market. Remember, as I previously stated, that while all of these are facts, people do not operate as passionately or completely on facts as they do on beliefs. Belief 5. Consistent investing habits are essential for success. When the markets fall, some people have had great positions sell due to FUD or fear of uncertainty and doubt. At the end of the day, markets are entirely based on manipulation and human emotions. So, if you want to be a successful crypto investor, you must adopt and consistently follow an investment strategy. This brings us to the second best way to avoid emotional decision-making during a bear market. Implement a proven strategy and stick to it no matter what. Most people who have had success in crypto investing have found success by using the DCA investment strategy, which stands for dollar cost averaging. What is dollar cost averaging? Dollar cost averaging is when you decide how much money you want to put into an investment on a regular basis. Suppose you decide to start dollar cost averaging $100 into Bitcoin once per week every Monday morning. So, every Monday for a long time, you consistently invest in Bitcoin regardless of price. What happens is that your exposure to price volatility is reduced. As a crypto investor, I recommend determining which projects you want to invest in in the long term. Set a budget for yourself, as well as the frequency with which you will invest, and stick to it. It could be $10 per day, $1,000 per month, or whatever works best for you. Remember that consistent investing practices are the key to success in crypto investing. Make a decision on an investment strategy and stick to it. What's great is that many crypto exchanges let you choose the amount of crypto you want to buy and how frequently you want to buy it, allowing you to automate your new dollar cost averaging strategy without having to take time out of your day or week to do it. So, let's look at some historical price data from the most recent bear market in both cycles and compare the results of implementing a DCA or dollar cost averaging strategy of $10 per day, which works out to about $300 per month during the bear market versus the bull market. The previous crypto bear market began in January 2018 and lasted until around September 2020. Investing $10 in crypto per day during this time period would have resulted in a total investment of about $10,040. The current bull market began in October 2020. 
Investing $10 per cryptocurrency per day during this time period would have resulted in a total investment of approximately $5,730. As a result, I retrieved historical price data for both time periods in order to compare gains for Bitcoin versus Ethereum and Doge. Using the price data, I calculated the total amount of each crypto. A $1.10 investment would have gotten you at its specific price on that particular day for each separate time period, the bear versus the bull cycle. Then I calculated the value of the total amount of the crypto you would have accumulated during the time period equates to today. Let's start with Bitcoin. If you had purchased $10 worth of Bitcoin every day from October 1st, 2020 through this week during this bull cycle, you would have accumulated approximately 0.1676 Bitcoin, which is currently worth $6,478 as of the time of this video. So, out of your total investment of $5,730 over that time period, you would have made 748 for a gain of about 13%. If you had bought $10 worth of Bitcoin every day from January 1st, 2018 to September 30th, 2020 during the previous bear market, you would have accumulated approximately 1.4235 Bitcoin which is currently worth $55,021 at the time of this video. So from your total investment over that time period of $10,040, you would have made $44,981, which works out to about a 440% gain. You can already see the enormous difference a market cycle can have when investing a consistent amount over time. To further highlight the distinction between Bitcoin, the most established cryptocurrency with the highest market cap and the most price stability, and Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, as well as the extremely risky meme coin, the Dogecoin. Let's compare the steady investments in each. So, if you had purchased $10 worth of Ethereum every day from October 1st, 2020 through this week during this bull cycle, you would have accumulated approximately 3.897 Ether, which is currently worth $11,151. From your total investment over that time period of $5,730, you would have made $5,421, which works out to about a 95% gain. Now, if you had bought $10 worth of Ether every day from January 1st, 2018 to September 30th, 2020 during the previous bear market, you would have accumulated approximately 46.4043 F, which is currently worth $133,001 at the time of this video. So from your total investment of $10,040 over that time period, you would have made $122,961 representing a 1,225% gain. Finally, let's check out Dogecoin. If you had bought $10 worth of Dogecoin every day, from October 1st, 2020 through this week during this full cycle, you would have accumulated about 366,684 Doge, which at the time of this video, is worth $52,166. So, from your total investment over that time period of 5730 you would have made 46436 which works out to about an 810% gain. Now, if you had bought $10 worth of Dogecoin every day from January 1st, 2018 through September 30th, 2020 during the last bear market, you would have accumulated about 5,410,138 doge, which at the time of this video is worth $769,679. So, from your total investment over that time period of $10,040, you would have made $759,529 
which works out to about a 7,566% gain. So, we already discussed the mindset shift that needs to take place and a simple proven strategy we can implement during bear cycles to accumulate and compound wealth. In part two of this video, I'm going to talk about one of the best advantages of bear markets that most people completely miss out on. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell notification. See you in part two of this video on how to become a millionaire.